Assalamu alaikum dear students. Welcome to Dr. Rumi's lectures. Today we are going to study cutaneous mechanoreceptors. These are tactile receptors which are present in our skin. We will discuss five important receptors which detect various kinds of tactile sensations like fine touch, crude touch, pressure, vibration, two point tactile discrimination uh, from the skin. So all of them they are somatic receptors and they detect sensations from the from the skin. So they are general receptors, not special receptors present in our skin. I will discuss these receptors under uh, five headings. We will discuss where they are located in our skin, in the epidermis or in dermis or in the subcutaneous tissue. We will also see their rate of adaptation. You already know that some receptors are slowly adapting receptors and some are rapidly adapting receptors. We will see which sensations are encoded by these receptors and also I will give you very important mnemonic for each of these receptors to memorize them. So let us begin with uh, uh, the first receptor which is uh, Meissner's carpuscle. Meissner's carpuscle is uh, an, an encapsulated receptor. It is present in our dermis they detect uh, vibrations and the frequency of vibration which is detected by Meissner's carpuscles is 5 to 40 hertz. They detect uh, the tap and uh, flutter from the skin and these are present in the non-hairy skin like the skin of our uh, palms, soles, lips. They are very, they are especially more abundant in the fingertips and in the lips. The receptive field of Meissner's carpuscles is small which means they are more abundantly present in the non-hairy skin. That is why they are very important for detecting two point discrimination. So the two points placed very close can be detected as two uh, and this is the function of Meissner's carpuscle. The mnemonic to memorize some features of Meissner's carpuscle is Messi is hairless, dynamic and wears a cap. Messi is name of footballer, although he is not hairless. So apologies to Messi. Uh, Messi for Meissner's carpuscle. Hairless uh, because Meissner's carpuscles are located in uh, hairless skin, in the palms, soles and uh, lips. These receptors detect vibrations and they are encapsulated receptors. Another important mechanoreceptor present in our skin is the Pacinian carpuscle. Their structure is like uh, the shape of a cut onion. Just like we see multiple uh, rings or layers in a cut onion, we can see here layers of connective tissue which are present around the tip of this nerve ending. Distal part of this nerve ending is uh, non myelinated. Uh, after that, it is uh, myelinated. Pacinian carpuscles are present in both hairy and non hairy skins. They are myelinated, present in subcutaneous tissue, that is in the superficial fascia. They are also present in muscles and they are one of the most rapidly adapting receptors. They respond to the on and off stimulus, which means whenever a stimulus is given to the receptor or it is removed from the receptor, they respond. But to a sustained stimulus, they very quickly adapt. And because of this reason, the senior carpuscles are important to detect fast vibrations, which range from 60 to 300 hertz. Meissner's carpuscles are important to detect low frequency vibrations. The senior carpuscles are also important to detect deep pressure because they are present in the deeper tissues in the subcutaneous uh, area. So they also detect deep pressure. Mnemonic to remember the features of the senior carpuscles is Pac-Man is fast, wears a cap, and vibrates on pressure. Pac-Man is the name of another footballer like Messi. Here, Pac-Man is uh, for the senior carpuscle, cap is for encapsulated receptor, vibrates is for it detects uh, uh, vibrations, fast is for rapidly adapting uh, receptor and pressure is for deep pressure. Next receptor 
which we will discuss is the hair end organ or hair follicle receptor this receptor is the nerve endings which are present around the hair follicle present in the hairy skin the hair follicle receptor is a rapidly adapting receptor just like Meesner carpussel and uh, Pacinian carpussel it detects velocity and motion across the skin for example if an insect is crawling across the skin these receptors will detect motion or direction of movement and also the velocity of movement across the skin these receptors also detect light touch from the skin for example if we stroke our skin with a wisp of cotton that will be detected by these hair follicle receptors next receptor is Raphne's organ or Raphne's endings these receptors are present in the dermis of both types of skin in the hairy and non hairy skin and also in the joint capsules these receptors unlike the Meesner's carpuscles they have large receptive fields which means from a bigger area they detect their sensations they are slowly adapting receptors which means when a stimulus is given to these receptors they respond with a receptor potential and high number of action potentials and that number of action potentials keep on firing for a sustained stimulus and they decrease slowly over a period of time so they are slowly adapting receptors these receptors as they are present deeper in the dermis they detect deep sustained pressure for example massage and also because they are present in our joint capsules so they also detect stretch and the rotation of a joint mnemonic to remember the features of roughness endings is rough pressure stretches the skin slowly and deeply in this mnemonic rough is for rough knees endings pressure because these receptors detect deep sustained pressure stretch because they also detect stretch of the joint ligaments and capsules and also detect joint rotation they are slowly adapting receptors and they are present deep in the dermis so they also detect deep pressure we will also talk about uh, Merkel's discs these are present in the epidermis of non hairy skin like in the palm soles and lips these receptors have uh, small receptive fields just like Meesner's carpuscles so they are more densely present in our superficial skin or epidermis so these receptors which are present superficially they are important to detect light touch light pressure and also the texture of various substances merkel's disc just like rafni's endings are also slowly adapting receptors and the mnemonic to remember the features of merkel's disc is make ppt slowly in this mnemonic make is for merkel's disc p for pressure because they detect light pressure they also inform us about the position p is for fine touch and slowly because these are slowly adapting receptors we have discussed five important uh, mechanoreceptors which are present in our skin free nerve endings they are also present in our skin they do not have uh, encapsulation at their ends and the free nerve endings are important to detect the sensations of crude touch crude pressure other than this they also detect tickle and itch and uh, pain and thermal sensations the mnemonic to remember the features of free nerve endings is free nerve endings in this mnemonic f is for fire so it means these have to detect temperature sensations especially the heat sensations n is for nociception so they also detect uh, pain and e is for epidermis so they are located in the epidermis of our skin just like merkel's disc so just to summarize we have discussed cutaneous mechanoreceptors their important features where they are present what is the rate of adaptation and what sensations are carried by these receptors and we have discussed six important uh, tactile receptors which are present in our skin meesner's carpussel they are present uh, in the upper part of dermis these are encapsulated receptors they detect uh, low frequency vibrations the tap and flutter 
like tickling of a skin with a feather. So this is detected by measles corpuscles. They are uh, rapidly adapting receptors and they are present in the non-hairy skin. The Pacinian corpuscles, they are encapsulated receptors present deep in the subcutaneous tissue and also in the muscles. These are present in both types of skin. They detect fast vibration and also deep pressure. They are the most rapidly adapting receptors. Here, follicle receptors are present in the dermis. They are present around the lower part of the hair follicle. And these receptors detect motion and movement across the skin and they also detect gentle touch. For example, when some insect is crawling across the skin, it's detected by the hair follicle receptors and these are also rapidly adapting receptors. Rapidly detecting receptors, they have a rapid on and off response. They do not respond to a sustained stimulus, rather they respond to a stimulus which is given initially and when it is removed. But to a sustained stimulus, they do not respond. Roughness endings, they have a larger re receptive field. They are present in the dermis. Roughness endings, they are also present in the joint capsules. Roughness endings detect deep sustained pressure like massage stretch and rotation of joints they are present in both types of skin the hairy and non hairy skin merkel's disc just like roughness endings are also non adapting uh, receptors and the merkel's disc are present in the epidermis merkel's disc just like roughness endings are slowly adapting receptors they are present in the epidermis and they detect fine touch fine pressure and uh, they also detect the texture of various substances. We have also discussed free nerve endings, which are important to detect temperature, pain, and also crude touch and crude pressure and tickle and itch sensations. Now, the last mnemonic, which I, I would like to mention here is for those receptors which are rapidly adapting receptors. And the mnemonic to memorize their names is misspecific wears a crown. In this mnemonic, MIS is for Meissner's corpuscles, Pacific is for Pacinian corpuscles, and Cron is for something on the top. So here, follicle receptors are here and organs, they are on the top, they are for uh, Cron. So these three receptors, Meissner's corpuscles, Pacinian corpuscles, and uh, here follicle receptors, they are rapidly adapting receptors i hope you must have enjoyed the teaching of uh, the features of these mechanoreceptors and most importantly the mnemonic to remember their features thank you so much for watching this video see you next time with another video